I've talked about on the channel a few times how renewable energy is replacing fossil fuels. Now, interestingly, quite a few sites around the world that used to be mines or coal power stations or even gas stations are now being used for renewable energy. This is one of those examples. In fact, this site is the home to one of the biggest coal plants that used to run in the United Kingdom until it was shut down because it simply wasn't economically feasible. Now, the world's biggest battery will be built on the same location as this extinct coal power plant. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. UK-based energy development company Carlton Power, according to renewaconomy.com.au, has taken an important step in building what is being touted as the world's largest battery storage project. A 1,040 megawatt slash 2,080 megawatt hour installation at the site of a former coal-fired power plant. Isn't it interesting? Very ironic to see what's happening here. Renewables are just so much cheaper to run. I mean, people think, a lot of people on certain sides of the political agenda believe that fossil fuels are better because they're cheaper. But it's simply misinformation. It's actually completely factually incorrect. In fact, Oxford University, not far away from this site, says the world will save $10 trillion if we can speed up our renewable energy transformation. Carlton Power says it has received planning permission from Trafford Council in Greater Manchester and, subject to a final investment decision, will build the massive battery at the Trafford Low Carbon Energy Park, not far from the famous Old Trafford home ground, of course, of the football team Manchester United. Until 1991, the site was the Carrington Coal-Fired Power Station. This battery will be the second project, the second big battery that this company has built. And in fact, it's the second battery in the same location on the same ground as a former coal mine. This follows the planned 200 megawatt traffic green hydrogen scheme, which is, is expected to enter operation by the end of 2025. Here's what they said. Carlton Power acquired the former coal-fired power station in 2008 to redevelop the site for new energy projects, said Keith Clark. With the approval of this massive battery, this brings the total investment value of the site to two billion pounds, or around about three billion US dollars, which will deliver massive economic benefits to the greater Manchester region and help to deliver the regional net zero targets. Carlton Powers Trafford Low Carbon Energy Park will also play host to the world's first commercial liquid air storage system. Basically what this is, is a liquid air battery. It's a 250 million pound, or about 400 million US dollar, 250 megawatt hour long duration cryogenic energy storage system to be developed by High View Power Storage. What this park is, it's telling us that renewable energy is cheaper. I mean, it's not hard to work out what's going on here. These companies are seeing an opportunity to make money, and that's exactly what they're doing. This company has just gone, well, you know what? We can make money with this type of battery, but if we put this type of battery here, we can service this market. What are they doing here? They're disrupting pika plants. Pika plants pollute massively. They make your energy bill extremely expensive. And of course, they are extremely, extremely expensive to run. They only kick in when there's extreme energy demand on the network. Batteries can completely disrupt that market. And that's why so many companies now are taking opportunity to build these massive battery packs. This is by far the biggest battery in Europe. It will probably not end up being the biggest in the world. By the time it's completed, there may be some other projects, I believe, that will be even bigger. But for now, it could be the biggest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.